furthermore with MS Access. MS Access is a relational database management system or RDBMS available as a part of the Microsoft Office suite. Data is stored in tables of a database. Fields store data for every table in the database. For choosing data, we need to specify field name and data type of respective fields. Field name. Field name is the name of the attribute under which data will be entered. While naming any field, keep in mind that the field name can include any combination of letters, numbers, spaces and special characters except period, exclamation and brackets. It cannot be more than 64 characters long. It cannot start with leading spaces. It cannot be same as property name or reserve name. For example, name which cannot be used as it is a reserved word. Some examples of valid field names are F name, DOB, marks underscore ENG and DOJ. Data types. After specifying the name of field, it is now time to specify the type of data it can hold. Data type of the field must be declared. It classifies the type of value a field can hold, like text, number, date, etc. Access provides a huge list of data types, which are as follows. Auto number. This type of field stores an integer value and increases automatically whenever a new record is added. It is used for the fields which require integer value like roll number of students or employee number in organizations. Text. This type is used for accepting text values like characters, numbers and a combination of both with a maximum length of 255 characters. For example, name of student, name of an employee, etc. Number. This type of field stores numeric values which are used for mathematical calculations like marks obtained, sales figure, etc. Currency. This type of field is used to store values in a monetary format which can be used in financial data requirements like fee of a student, salary of an employee, etc. Date and time. This type of field can store dates and time maximum in 8 bytes like date of birth, date of joining, etc. Memo. Memo data type is a much larger version of text field which contains long blocks of text up to 65,535 characters. It is used to store description of any item or resume of a person, etc. Yes or no? This data type is assigned to fields where only two values such as yes for true or no for false are required. For example, married or not, availing school conveyance or not, etc. OLE object. This data type is used to store images, graphics, documents, spreadsheets, etc. created in other applications like Excel or Photoshop, like photo of a student, employee, etc. Lookup wizard. It helps to choose values from other table, query or list of values which you will specify and use them in R table. Attachment. This field type is used to attach images, spreadsheet files, charts, files and other types of documents into the records of database. It is similar to attaching files in an email. Hyperlink. We can store links of web pages, websites, etc. which are on network to the sites of files on our computer. It will be stored as text and used as web address.
Creating table in design view. In design view, we can create a table structure by declaring the names of the fields and specifying their data types. We can also give a small description about the field if we want. We can set properties of every field to define its characteristics and behavior. Let us create a table in the database Database 1, which is the default blank database using Design View. First, select Table Design option from the Tables group on Create tab. Table Design screen with three columns, Field Name, Data Type and Description will appear on top pane and Field Properties will appear in bottom pane. Enter the field name SNO for serial number and press Enter. The control will move to data type. Now select appropriate data type, for example, number for this field. Again press Enter. The control will move to description. It is optional to enter description for a field. Now press the primary key button in the tools group of design tab. Press Enter again. You will observe that a key symbol is there in front of first column SNO. It basically depicts the primary key. You can also change the primary key. Similarly, feed all the fields with the given description. Now save the table either by pressing Ctrl and S keys or by Save option from the Office button. Save as dialog box will appear. If you wish to change the table name, type the name. By default, name of the table is Table 2. Click OK. To enter data in the table, click on Data Sheet View from the View tab on left side of the screen and enter your data in the table. Field Properties There are various options available under the Fields Properties pane. Some of the properties are data type specific. That means they are only available to specific data type. Field property. Description. Field size. Sets maximum number of characters to be stored in the field. For example, 255 characters in case of text type. Format. Sets custom layout of the text, number, date, time, etc. to be stored. Input mask. Sets format for data to be entered in a field using characters and symbols. Decimal places. Specifies the number of decimal places for numeric data types. Caption. Specifies the string to be displayed as the column alias. Default value. A value automatically enters in field when new record is created. Validation rule specifies restrictions on data that can be entered in a field. Validation text specifies error message to be displayed if validation rule is violated. Required forces to enter data in the field if required property is set to yes. Allow zero length allows a blank entry in the field if required property is set to yes. Text Align specifies default alignment of text in control. Indexed. Creating indexes allows access to sort records faster. Smart Tags. Attach smart tags like date, phone number, financial symbols, etc. Primary Key. You are uniquely identified by a student number as no student can have same student number and a student cannot be without student number. That is, the student number in your school is unique and it cannot be null or left blank. Here, admission number is acting as a primary key. Similarly, in an organization, each employee will have an employee number which will be unique for all employees and similarly, no employee will be without employee number. So, employee number is a primary key. 
Some more examples of primary key are like item code in a store, customer code in a company, book ID in a library, etc. The definition of primary key is an attribute or field that uniquely identifies each record in a table is known as the primary key. When more than one field together forms the primary key, it is referred to as a composite key. Some features of primary key are A table can have only one primary key. Every value entered in primary key field must be unique. A primary key cannot be left empty or null. A primary key can be used to relate different tables in a database as foreign key. Let us consider the table named store and its values. In the example table, field serial number can be set as primary key for this table. We know that no two items will have the same serial number and no item will be left without a serial number. Hence, it will be unique and not null and can be set as primary key. Setting the primary key when you create a table by table option of tables group under create tab, by default, the first field of the table is created with ID name and already set as a primary key. To set any other field as a primary key, follow these steps. In the design view, click the field which you want to make primary key. Now, click on the primary key button of the Tools group from the Design tab. Or, you can also right-click mouse button and select Primary Key option from the Context menu. The field will be set as Primary Key indicated by a small key symbol in the Row Selector column. Removing a Primary Key To remove any field as Primary Key, in the Design view, select the Primary Key field. Now click on the Primary Key button of the Tools group from the Design tab or click Right Mouse button and unselect Primary Key option. To change Primary Key to another column, we need to insert new fields in our table. Adding a new field To insert or add a new field or column in a table, Open the table in Data Sheet view. Click on the column header before which you want to insert your new column. Now take mouse pointer to add and delete group of Fields tab. Click on More Fields option and select General option from the drop down menu. A new field will appear before the field you selected with heading Field 1. All the fields to the right of the inserted field will shift to right side to make space for the new field. Alternatively, you can right-click on a field name where you want to insert a new field and right-click Select Insert Field option. New column will be inserted. You can also rename the column by double-clicking on its column name and enter a new name. Deleting a field Follow the steps to delete a column. Open the table in Datasheet view. Click on the column header you want to delete. Now, take mouse pointer to add and delete group of fields tab. Next, click on delete button. A dialog box appears for confirmation of deletion. Click on yes button and the selected column will be deleted. All columns to the right of the selected column will shift to the left side for dumping the empty space. Alternatively, you can right-click on a field name which you want to delete and select Delete Column option. Selected column will be deleted. Inserting a new row. We can insert or add a new row or record in the existing table. To do this, Open the table in Data Sheet view. Select any row of your table. Click on Home tab. 
Click on the new option from records group of home tab. The new blank row will be inserted at the end of the table. Alternatively, right click on any row and select new record option. New row will be added. Deleting a row. Perform the steps to delete a row. Open the table in data sheet view. Then click on left side of the row that you want to delete. Now click Home tab. Click on the Delete option from the Records group. A dialog box appears for confirmation of deletion. Click on Yes button and the selected row will be deleted. Alternatively, you can right-click on a row header which you want to delete and select Delete Record option. A confirmation dialog box will appear. Click Yes button and the selected row will be deleted. Sorting in a data sheet. Arranging data in ascending or descending order is called sorting. MS Access provides the facility of arranging data of a table in ascending or descending order as per our requirement. Suppose in the example table you want to sort the data in the ascending order of price. Follow the steps to do so. First, open your table in Datasheet view. Then, select the Price field. Now, from the Sort and Filter group of the Home tab, click on Ascending icon. All the records will get sorted accordingly in the ascending order of price. Notice the up arrow next to the name of the field marks. The up arrow indicates ascending order and the down arrow indicates the sorting in descending order. Alternatively, you can right-click on the selected field and select Sort Smallest to Largest from the context menu. You can also sort data in descending order by selecting Largest to Smallest. To clear the sorting, click on Remove Sort button on Sort and Filter group of Home tab. Sorting done on the table will be cleared and the table will be rearranged as it was before sorting.